so hello everyone this is Shoham here so today we will be installing the Fossology backend and we'll be configuring the Fossology UI project to make it work so I'll be using Ubuntu 20.04 LTS as my operating system so this demonstration is going to be based on this particular operating system so let's move forward so at first we will be cloning the Fossology repository so I'll be cloning my fork here so let's just copy the link and move to a directory and clone it so we'll be running the git clone command here and we'll be cloning it once that's done we'll be moving inside the directory and now we can move towards the documentation the install from source documentation it's already given in there so we're moving to that page and now first of all we'll be cleaning the old installation files we're using the clean old script so get through, let's get root first yep and it's done so now we'll be installing all the dependencies required by this project using the install depth script let's run it we can use this particular flag it's to make sure nothing is missed so it's done and uh, now you can build the uh, application using the cmake command so we'll be building the application now Once that's done, you can move forward and run this particular command to make testing enabled in the development environment. So we'll be installing the composer as it's required. It's done. Now we can finally install Fossology from the builded files. So we'll be running this particular command, cmake command. and now the particular ninja command this installs the application in the system once that's done the application is installed now you, we will be running the post install script in order to create the default user fossi So it's done also you can use this particular command to check if everything is installed correctly or not so we'll be running that particular command now here is the command so it's installed correctly so now we'll be in, uh, just enabling the daemon function so that you need not to and in reinstall fossilology each time you turn on your system it will do it for you let's go and it's done so let's clear the console and let's see if the backend works it's available in the localhost repo so it works let's try to log in Yes, it logs us in and it looks good so we will also be trying uh, API call here so let's see if the API works we'll be trying the info endpoint trying the info in point here and let's see if what's the response yes it sends us a really desired response so it's working fine so now we'll be cloning the UI repository
So I'll be moving to my fork and we'll be cloning it. So let's move uh, towards a directory and clone it here. So run the git clone command and clone it. Once that's done, we'll be using the yarn install command to install all the packages. First of all, we need to move into the directory first. So let's just move it. Uh, CD Fossilogy UI. And we'll be running yarn install here. So this installs all the packages required in the UI. Once that's done, we'll be opening the UI project using Visual Studio Code or your preferred uh, uh, code editor. So open it. So here you can find a env.sample file. It's up there. So this is the thing we'll copying into our .env file which needs to be created. So I'll be creating one here, .env, and we'll be pasting it here. So one change that's required, we'll be changing the version of API to 1. So we'll be changing the v2 to v1, and we'll be saving it. So once that's saved, let's start the server. Yarn start is the command. So let's start the server and see if it works. So we'll just wait. So it shows us the repositories output. It's visible. Let's try to log in now using the front end UI we are able to log in and see all the things so it works perfectly so thank you for watching and hope you have a great day thank you